I'm not going to tell you what, what I'm going to introduce. <laughs> you don't know the two Niyamas very well, so nope. probably not going to be those. <laughs> Welcome to Seriously Lighthearted Yoga. Hi, Clifton. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Today is going to kind of be a spider day. We are going totally. to be breaking down the second limb or second leg of the Woo! spider, the Niyamas, over the next couple of weeks. So this is limb number two, limb number dos. And uh, so it's got five parts, just like the Yamas, just like limb number one that we already spoke about. So we're going to be talking about the He's learning first, so quickly. The first part of the Niyamas, which is... Saucha. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, guys, Saucha is this idea in Sanskrit of cleanliness. And uh, we all have a pretty good idea of what cleanliness means, but if you think about it, remembering the Yamas had an internal and external component, this definitely does too. So, while well, you can think of taking a shower, brushing your teeth, flossing, all of that is acts of cleanliness, and they definitely are. You can also think of what you're eating as an act of cleanliness. If you're eating something that is, you know, really old and maybe getting a little bad, like, that's not necessarily a cleanly practice. If you are making something fresh, and right then that you're cooking it, it's definitely a lot more clean as a food for you, a lot healthier for you than something, again, that's going a little bit iffy. And <laughs> other things that you can think of as cleanliness. Within this word saucha, there's also like a form of mental cleanliness. Like you're not trying to like talk yourself down. Again, like that negativity is like a dirty thought in a sense. Like practicing the positivity is a more, uh, it's a cleanlier way to think. That sounds odd to say, but it really is. Mm -hmm. And also things like just not having strong judgments about like other people for example like those are kind of unclean thoughts like you don't necessarily want to be projecting your opinions onto other people which is what those strong judgments are is a projection of your own thought processes and like that is an indication of something that you know could use a little cleaning up and this idea of cleanliness is one trying to get us to realize it and two trying to get us to do something about it so the second part of that what are we doing about it well just beginning, first of all, to treat yourself and like a, think of yourself as something that is cleaner. Like even that right there mm -hmm. will bring you up. And then when you notice yourself doing something that might be in your mind a little unclean, finding a way to just do it a little more cleanly is a great way to start. Mm -hmm. And again, this practice of yoga is a practice of awareness. So trying to be aware of all those moments where you're being clean, unclean, and just using them, integrating them in to your yoga practice is what we're going to get you here or trying to bring you here so yeah absolutely and and another th important thing to point out with any of these there's not a if you are if you are unclean okay, so you don't <laughs> you don't brush your teeth tonight i mean that's not necessarily an evil thing that's not a bad it's thing not you're bad. not doing anything wrong as much as it uh it's it's, it's less being aware that's productive it. for you let's mm -hmm. put it that way mm -hmm. it's being aware of it too and you can't you can't know the clean without also knowing the yeah the you have to have both the contrast is just as important mm -hmm. so but it's it's again about awareness and being aware of of this uh this thought of cleanliness so let us know if you have any questions about that give somebody a high five subscribe like and share and we'll see you tomorrow <laughs>